Hey guys, Tress here. I'm so happy to be back with you guys today. Um, so I actually had a requested video by Frederick Jensen and he was asking me about alts and life skills and if it's viable. So hopefully you guys enjoy and hopefully you guys uh, get some insight on whether or not you want to have certain life skills on certain uh, characters. So for a lot of people, gathering is like a big necessity in this game and uh, people do gathering a lot. Um, some people gather two times a day, some people gather five times a day. Whether or not you should gather on an alt um, is more preference to you. Do you uh, gathering in itself takes a lot of time. Gathering is not all about just blowing all your energy. It's more about gathering materials and getting what you need. So regardless if you you know spend 300 energy or spend 400 energy or whatever, it's more about if you get the correct materials. And for me, um, that's how I view gathering. And that's how you guys should view gathering, honestly. It's not about who can spend the most energy. So this comes to question, do you guys want to spend more time gathering materials? Do you guys need more materials? Because if you guys need more materials, then sure, by all means, go ahead and gather on more than one character. Um, but for me, again, I do like having the gathering icon on my main account. Um, so, you know, and it, it gathering does take a lot of time. So out of my day, I don't really have that much time to go on an alt and gather more energy than I already did. Most of the time, I'm happy with how many materials I already got during that gather session. And a lot of times with the camo blessing and such, um, I can gather maybe two or three times a day uh, later at night. So for the average player, uh, you know, it's not necessary to go out and gather on multiple char uh, characters. So it's really up to just personal preference. Uh, so whatever you do, uh, hopefully it suits whatever your your play style is. Uh, processing, I would probably just keep that on one character just because you do need the processing outfit, um, which is currently what I have on right now. The processing outfit is called the Venisil for the, the female characters and it's called the Karki uh, outfit for the males, I'm pretty sure. It does cost real money, so unless you're like rich or something and you want to spend money getting the, the processing outfit on all your different characters, then by all means go right ahead. It's, it's your money, of course. Um, um, but for somebody that doesn't have, you know, like hundreds of dollars to throw around, I would say throw processing on just one character. Cooking, um, for, you guys know that I love my cooking icon. I'm number one cook on this on this server right now, so um, I will definitely have cooking on my on my main. And I think you should always keep it on your main character because it doesn't require energy to refill. And um, also, you know, the higher level your cooking level, the more, the better the recipes you can make. So again, unless you have a lot of time on your hands and you want to level up your um, other characters to like master plus, then by, by all means, be my guest, go ahead and do that. But for some recipes, you do need master 16 or master 10 or master 11. And for some people, they don't have all the time in the world to get that up ranked for all their characters. So personally, I would stick to just keeping it on one character. Let's move on to alchemy. Um, alchemy, again, same thing as cooking. You do need high level alchemy to be able to make any sort of money. Um, so I would probably keep it on your main character. And again, I like my alchemy icon. I'd rather have it on my main character. So there's nothing really to discuss about that. Not really, there's no real benefit of having multiple characters uh, with high level alchemy. Same thing goes with uh, cooking. Training, uh, training, I, I mean, that's an AFK sort of life skill so I'd say keep it on one character um, because most of the time you just need to AFK overnight whatever ride your horse loot auto loop it and um, there's really no need to have it on multiple characters and again you need to buy the horse training outfit um, I don't currently have it because I don't train horses but for those of you guys who do um, or, or for those of you guys who want to get into horse training it's not really worth spending an extra $20, $30 just to put in another uh, character. And again, like I mentioned, there's really no benefit to having it on um, another character. And for a lot of these life skills, there's no benefit to having more than one character have that life skill. There are exceptions, which I will run over soon here, like farming. Um, but let's move on to fishing. Fishing, again, another AFK life skill sort of just keep it on your main character. It doesn't really matter. Um, hunting, uh, that again, uh, you need to get your hunting pretty high level to make any sort of money and to be able to use the higher match locks. So preferably keep it on your main character. Um, this way, you know, while you're hunting, you can have your energy uh, regening for gathering and, and, you know, stuff like that. So it's it's a win-win. Uh, trading, I would keep it on your main um, or your alt, but I would not put it on multiple characters. You should only have it on one character regardless if you put it on your alt or your main. For trading, you need to have it over 
on a character that's level 56 because you can't get the desert buff without being level 56 but i would recommend um using a musa or a Maywa to transport crates um using your horse whistle or whatever because they can dash very far and if you have the horse whistle you can call your horse every 500 meters so it's really good um so there's that and also if you want to transport your crates i would suggest under level 50 so that nobody can pk you and this way you don't lose your crates trading level is sort of difficult to power level because obviously you need to create a lot of materials so again not really worth it in the long run to have it on multiple characters just put it on one character and just be done with it um so yeah that's that's about it for trading uh let's move on to farming farming is the outlier uh, farming, there is an exception, and here is the exception, and it applies to what I'm currently doing right now. Uh, basically, farming, you need to you need to figure out where you want to plant your farms. And when it comes to farming, you want to have it in an area that has a lot of water uh, and rain. You want to keep the moisture, because the moisture affects the yield of the crop. So if we take a look at the world map filter here, Calpheon doesn't have too too much water uh if we actually look at the water right now it's very very low it's at 1.8 percent um so if we're looking at all the other places like velia very good for strawberry and sunflower planting uh 100 water moisture um so it's really good my my farms are currently right here uh logia farm and uh they've been doing very very well even at 200 percent they don't lose very much moisture and if they do i do tend to just use purified water on it um but since my main city is Calpheon, the reason why I would have it on an alt is because I can place down an alt at the farms and then whenever I need to farm it or breed or harvest or tend to it, I can just switch to my alt and I don't need to travel from Calpheon all the way to um, Logia farm. So that's like the only reason I would have your farming on an alt. This way it's easier to get to your um, farms. Uh, for me, I personally like having the farming icon. Um, so I don't really care. Uh, to travel to Logia farm whenever I'm doing stuff in Velia I'll always go over there 10 farms um, or whatever or sometimes I'll put workers on them it's not a really big deal for me um, I am currently trying to level farming to master and then I'm gonna throw down workers permanently but you know for people that do want the XP and stuff could potentially benefit you to have it on an alt um, but again if you have a fast horse and you don't care about going the distance then by all means put it on your main character uh, sailing, this is something that I would keep on your main character or one character uh, because sailing requires a long time to level up. It's very difficult. As you can see, I'm only skilled six right now. And for the rankings on sailing, um, it's very like, it's not that high. It's professional six right now on this server. So, you know, again, you can see how hard it is to level up sailing. And for sailing, you need a certain level to use certain boat skills, which make your boat go faster. You can retreat faster to ram sea monsters and stuff like that. So it's very beneficial to have it just on one character. Don't, don't run around with multiple characters having like beginner 10 sailing. Just keep it all on one character and I promise you, that that will be the best decision that you have made in regards to sailing. Anyways, guys, that's about it for the life skill and alts video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you did, be sure to share with your friends and your guildmates if they need help deciding if maybe an alt needs a life skill or not. And as always, if you could, leave a like on this video. And as always, take care and I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.